Hello, I am John, and today I am going to be playing some Total War Warhammer 2. They recently came yesterday, actually. So, yeah, technically speaking, so recently, but whatever. They, yesterday, they came out with a couple different things. They came out with a free DLC that adds in... Okay, so I'm just going to run through all of it, like, right here. Add in this guy, Aletha Nar, who is the Shadow King, I think they called him. He's really cool. I haven't used him yet, but he's apparently really cool. They've also added in... Finally, Norska, my favorites, with the badass Wolfgar and the intel and the surprisingly intelligent troll Throg. They also added in Avalorn with Alariel, the Queen of the Elves, I'm pretty sure High Elves. Yeah, I know, actually. I just realized the Dark Elves are the only ones whose queen doesn't start with an A. Since these guys, it's Ariel. Ariel is the Ever Queen. And then these people, it's Alar. And then the High Elves, it's Alariel. Yet the Dark Elves, it's either Malekith or Morathi. And this is another person that they added in. This person is just a lot, but this is another person that they added in. They also added in some units for the two factions, because that's uh, not free DLC. Norsko was an update, free DLC was the Shadow King, and then this was a paid-for DLC. Though, because of Norska, and remembering what I did that one time with the lizard and the rat man, we're gonna do something like that. <laughs> yep, it still remembers. It still remembers. Oh hey, Gorok. Oh hey, what? Who the? Who, who, what? Who? Who the fuck are you? You pink slam? There are a few slain mysteries, the fewer still that are those that transfer the second spawning. So there's what does he have? What do miss? There's not the other slans. Search the miss. You can cast those shadows, the world one, soul puncher, apotheosis, first bongahan, on on the hill. Pastures and this spirits. Hands of the Wolf Hive, Younger Thunderstorm, Spaniadra, Full Flooded, Shroud of the Great Beyond. It's probably something in the Shroud of the Great The opponent's ancient slant and mage boost. Not bad. Then. Yeah, I don't really understand why there's just this now fucking pink frog. I guess one of my mods updated and I just didn't notice. Though, we are going to go to... There's no spam. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you know where we're going with this. Also, this fucking... Frost breath is retarded. Like, it is ridiculous. This shit just like insta kills a lot of the time, especially since I've had to lower the amount of units that are in a lot of the things. If we go to here, there's now only 90 escape slaves. Actually, 90. Actually, no, I think this is a medium, so, or large. Oh, whatever. Actually, I think this game just naturally have more units than all of the factions. Yeah, though, if we go to these guys, see only 60s and 50s. Because I kind of got tired of 
every single battle the very second that action starts to happen. Usually, no matter how many like units are in there, as so long as it's you know, you know, if it's ten plus units on each side, the game would just instantly start lagging, and the sound would start lagging, and everything would start lagging, and I'd just get like extremely pissed off about that because it's bullshit. So, yep. We got Feral Mammoth, Norseman Giant, Frostworm, War Mammoth, War Mammoth for the Shrine, and Troll Cluster, along with Wolf of the Wanderer. Because this is badass. You know what, just to add in some fun, let's also go with those guys. And. I don't like that as long as well, but it sucks. sucks. Come here, we'll play well, I'm sure. So we won, see? Norska is just, again, one of my favorite factions. And I'm... I mean, I'm almost positive they didn't really change the mana stuff very much. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did nerf them, because before... And in Total War Warhammer, just one. War Mammoths are retardedly overpowered. It takes a lot just to take one down. Let alone if the enemy army is fielding like four or five of them. They're just so massive that they just completely just annihilate everything. It was just epic. Okay then, this looks about right. Don't really need any formations. Though, I can start showing off some of the units. So yeah. Basically, yeah, these guys are, well, these guys, they're just basically a frozen version of the basic old dragon, or chaos dragon. And this is one of the few things that was added by Norska is frostbite damage. Which, whenever the creature deals damage, it applies frostbite, which lowers the enemy's speed by 36%. Really good for your chasers, because then your chasers can actually really easily catch up the thing just once they deal with one to one damage. Also, chilling aura, and then the return to powerful frostbite. This is just one for this is just one of the war mammoths. This, this one looks really cool to me, just for the sheer fact that it's got like blue eyes with red armor. So yeah. They're basically like war mammoths are probably what kind of made the kind of war sphinx to what it was exactly, because you know, these guys have on their backs uh Norskin Javelin throwers. Of the Norskin Hunters with, or Marauder Hunters with Javelins. So basically, yeah, Norskin Javelin Brothers. Which is very similar to what the War Sphinx is, which is, you know, they throw, they, instead of throwing spears, they shoot bows because they don't throw spears. You can count as kind of Even though they did. And yeah, this guy's just a badass. We've got the Premier. Hold on a second. Yeah, the Famir, with great weapons. Yeah, the Famir are just really, like, weird looking. They are ap they aptly fit the description, undescribable. I don't understand how someone describes that without fucking drawing a picture or showing a picture. That thing is definitely worth at least a thousand words. And maybe two thousand. We got the special premier who uh, for some reason red skin. Looks like weird teal armor. Weird. We got the basic one man with the war shrine. Which I feel is a bit more of like a 
half portal, basically. With the shaman on the back. Using that to do home. We got Wolfric on his war man. We got a Norskin giant. Which really they look much different than all the other giants. Apparently they these giants just look more cute. When the other ones just kinda look like fat pieces of shit. This one is actually like it's not fat. It's really weird. It's just not fat. I mean, I guess it's really hard to build up fat in the like in the chaos wastes unless you're trying to build up fat. But in all fairness, even the chaos giants are fat. And not really human looking. This guy actually looks very hum fairly human looking, except he's random fucking cut off horn that's sticking out of the back of his head basically. You got ourselves frost trolls. Yeah, still ugly motherfuckers. But they got cool ice sticks. This mammoth. This mammoth. The feral mammoth. I like the feral mammoth look in the fairness. They do look pretty cool. Even if they're not that good. But yeah, apparently chaos energy makes this come into this. So it like curves those up and curves these down. It's full potential that's like going on. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. So let's watch the bodies fly. Let's start off with that. Wolfric. You wanna go here. You are gonna 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 go here. And you are gonna go there. Papa da! You don't need to run. That's one of the things that I've learned about this game, though, that is apparently sheer bullshit. Is. I know that there's an option whether or not you know, click to play you to do something you have done or you have not run. And as much as I love them to not run, it's useful. But this guy, it just does nothing for me. Aww, it didn't send them flying. It just shat on their face holes. Oh yeah, and also there's now uh officer I added a mod that I have an officer and not an officer. I don't think a lot of you have officers though, there's not a lot of officers. But then again I don't think I'd be able to tell oh maybe you know <laughs> just straight up that <laughs> just was oh my god oh my god mammoths are going in oh my god and there he goes flying oh my god Mammoths are entertaining as hell. Oh my god. This is just great. This is always just like the best idea in the world. Go in, Famir! Go in! Go in everything! Send those rat men to the moon! <laughs> oh my god. This is just sheer destruction. As he just flattens them. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys find this as entertaining as me, but corpse launches are always just hilarious in my opinion. That is just a sh that is just like a quarter of a unit of them right there, just right there, just all of them. Oh, this is full units as well. I just realized. Okay. No wonder it's trying to lag so much. <laughs> Just one hammer down, instantly one goes flying. God, mammoths were such a great idea to do this with. I've also had a potentially great idea for a mini game in this if anyone 
wants to do that for the laboratory for themselves. Your units can only include any form of monster, including your hero, so your hero would have to be a monster, or your lord would have to be a monster as well, and your most basic meat shields. You have to have both, about half man. Enemy team, exact same. Basically, this exact same setting, so, like, make units fly like crazy. And see who wins in the Orbitoff. You know, it's just, it's just fucking entertaining to watch them just, like, fly and swarm. It sounds really sadistic, but it's just, it's just so entertaining to watch them just get slaughtered. Ah, uh, those Samir aren't really knocking them up much. There we go! I just had to say something, apparently. I don't know how stuff doesn't really do it much. Go in there, bud! Where the hell did the lord go? I don't think I see their leader anywhere. Did I already kill him? I don't think I did. Yeah, they're terrified. They're completely done. They're completely gone. Oh. Well, there goes a troll. <laughs> It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. <laughs> I can't even finish the fucking sentence. Just, just watching that guy fall from the sky. Uh, don't worry, he's still alive. Somehow. It's all that chaos energy. Fucking resilient as hell. Okay, they're done. They're just done. All of them are just done. We got one. Yeah, there's one. There's there's still their lord left. Where the? Where did he go? You go over there. You go over there. You go over there. Where the hell is that enemy war? There he comes! It took him like eight years just to fall to the ground. Okay then, never mind. We're gonna leave everyone here. This is just entertaining. This is just sheer entertainment. Only reason why this is fun is it is just sheer entertainment value. Just watching thousands upon thousands of rats just go fly in the air and fall to the ground in death. And they're just completely running. Now they're all just gone. They're just this unit hardly took any damage, and it's just like, nah, oh, fucking I'm good. I almost want to just do that to these ones. Oh, I can't do that to them? Aww. I guess the terrified enemies are no longer there. Not bad. Freeze into that. Knock him off! Aw, he got knocked down. He wasn't supposed to get knocked down, he was supposed to get knocked up! Knocked down Tarleton! That's a Call of Duty World War II defense. Call it, not World War II, that's Call of Duty World War I don't even know how long that 
so that was fun. Uh, it's just so entertaining. Just watching them fly like an eagle. Not really. They're 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 more like that. Oh. If the game. Yeah, unpredictable gameplay, like watching units fly everywhere. Okay, so, hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of Norska, I guess. <laughs> I didn't really show off much of any of the other stuff. I might at some point. Hope you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Tell me if you want some more of this stuff. Some more just random shit I did, or some more just Warhammer and Mineral. Tell me if you want something else. And... As always, goodbye.